Good afternoon, traders. This is John Kennedy, Senior Commodity Market Strategist with RGO Futures here in Chicago. To provide you with a brief rundown of the ag markets here on Wednesday. Um, turning first, we had some of the reports come out yesterday. They were supposed to be normally reported on Monday with the President's Day holiday. We had export inspections for soybeans that continue to be strong within the expectation range of the analysts here on LaSalle Street. Soybeans came in at 49.1 million bushels. Uh, corn came in also within expectations, but on the low end, and it missed the needed levels at about 28.5 million bushels. And wheat was basically in the middle of expectations, right in at about 14.8 million bushels. Uh, we also had the NOPA soybean crush numbers from yesterday, which were in line with expectations and also set a new record for the, the soybean crush in January. A um, couple uh, points of note that the soybean oil stocks were up more than expected, but the, the yield on that soybean oil remains at uh, historical lows. Uh, the grain markets today had a bit of a rebound, especially in, uh, or not a rebound, actually a, a down day after, um, especially in the case of the soybeans, four straight sessions to the upside. Um, corn finished at, it, for all, all for the May contracts, finished at 391 and three quarters, down six cents. Soybeans was at ten dollars even, down eleven and three quarters, and wheat came in at five twenty-four even, down seven and three quarters cents for the day. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind: there's going to be some risk on uh, the bullish sentiment in this market that the USDA tomorrow won't cut corn acres as much as some of the traders are anticipating, and also fr um, that on Friday there's potential for some of the soy carryover numbers to be larger than some of the some of the traders on the street are expecting as well. Um, turning South America, the weather overall is good in terms of temperature and uh, precipitation for harvest in Brazil and the growing areas of Argentina. Uh, we had um, Egypt issued a long awaited uh, US tender for wheat today and France raised some of the wheat export estimates for their crop. Um, keep in mind, Tomorrow and Friday is the USDA Ag Outlook Conference, so there'll probably be some anal analysis coming from RJ O'Brien in that regard, which will be available to you traders. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Uh, until the next time, good trading. This is John Kennedy in Chicago. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.